is howling and he's singing the blues. Why are you singing the blues? You ain't got no spark on your little 49cc four stroke. Yeah, that's my little chihuahua barking in the background. He, he's scratching himself. He likes to bark. What am I going to do? All right, just give me a couple of minutes here, and I'm going to show you how to service this. We're going to check for spark, right? Well, if we don't get spark, we're going to remove this cover, and I'll show you where the Magneto CDI is, okay? It's not that hard to service. Speaking of spark plug, you're going to need your spark plug tool, right? Pull your spark plug out. Speaking of spark plugs, here's an upgrade. NGK CR7 HSA. I'll put a link down below. It's worth it to upgrade. While we're diagnosing this, make sure your kill switch is unplugged. A shorted out kill switch will cause it not to fire, okay? So, here's the spark plug. See the red area? That's where we're going to look for spark. Yep, there's the spark. So you got your spark plug removed. We're going to plug it into the cap, and we'll want to ground the body of the spark plug against the head. Give it a pull. Yep, there you go. See that spark? Yeah, it's just real quick. Come on. there. Yep, there. There you go. Let's look closer. I know it's moving. Sorry, but you can see the spark, right? If not, get your buddy to hold the end of the spark plug. So if there's no spark, then we're going to need to tear into this and replace the Magneto CDI or see what's going on, okay? Remove the three nuts here holding the rope start mechanism. Get your 8 millimeter socket out. Zip that sucker off. Let's pull the flywheel cover and the rope start off as one. Now be careful, there's three of these little spacers that go on the standoffs, the little uh, studs that hold the flywheel cover in place. Yeah, see this one here? Yeah, now they also put Loctite on these sometimes. Now I've had the whole thing come off with the nut, but they put Loctite on them and that makes it rather difficult to get the magneto off sometimes. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your 8 millimeter wrench, a small wrench, and if it doesn't seem like it wants to come off real easy, don't force it, okay? No, don't get a bigger wrench because you'll just break it, okay? We need heat. Get you a hair dryer. If you got your industrial heat gun, give it a couple of minutes. Get it nice and warm. You should be able to, nice firm pressure, be able to break that thing loose, okay? We don't want to break the stud, okay? So, now we've got our Magneto CDI off. Do we notice any problems? Is there any rust or gunk on the two magnets? Okay. See the contact points? If we're dirty there, that might be our problem. If not, I've tried testing a good one. I don't get a consistent reading because of the CDI in there, the, the capacitor. Just go ahead and get you a new Magneto CDI. They don't cost that much. Now, Eric, you were asking me about how to check one of these rope start mechanisms. That's all there is to it. You pull on it, these two black rods pop up, they grab the teeth on that cog on the flywheel and turn it over. So if it ain't working like you see there, get you a new rope start mechanism. All right, so we've got a new spark plug. We're going to gap the spark plug 25,000th, 24,000th, Set your gap. Now, if your spark plug doesn't have the brass piece on it like this one does, well, it's probably not going to fit in the cap. So you're going to need to uh, go back to the auto parts store or find you an old spark plug. Yeah, if it looks like that, it's not going to fit the cap that comes with this bad boy. So go to the auto parts, get your brass piece, put it on the end of your spark plug. So to put the Magneto CDI back on, you just don't slap it on there. We're going to need to use a feeler gauge, 17,000, to set the gap, okay? So just get the stuff on there nice and loose. If you don't have a feeler gauge, use a business card. I've used my micrometer, 17 thousandths of an inch will fit it. Make sure either your business card or your feeler gauge is above both magnets. The magnets are underneath the CDI. You've got both of the contact points there. You've got your gap set. Tighten it up. Let's put the flywheel cover on. Let's put your rope start on. Okay, get your spark plug put on. Make sure you push that spark plug boot all the way down. Give it a couple of pulls. You know you're going good. Hey, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Mash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Take care.